All right, all right. Get on it. Now's better than later. Good to see you healthy. We feared you would perish. Why would the Keeper call for a move so early? We were not expecting to leave for weeks. Is Tamlin dead? Everybody says he's not coming back. So you have returned to us, Dalen. We are grateful you're whole and well. So you should be. What were you two thinking, wandering into that cave without first coming to tell the Keeper? I suppose your youth can be forgiven. Sadly, Tamlin pays the price. Losing you would be a terrible crime, Dalen. You belong to more than just yourself, or do you not remember? Let us tell these children of the fall of the Dales. You can honor me by sharing in the telling. Come then, help me as I go along. Children, hear of the fall of the Dales. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? Yes, slaves to a terrible empire. The humans built on the darkest magic. When it fell, we became free. We built a homeland in the Dales, worshipping the creators and rebuilding the culture and history we lost in our long years of slavery. They were resentful because we would not worship their gods and because we put our people first. Over the years, their nations grew cold toward the Dales. In their eyes, we were blasphemers and cruel tyrants. And so the Dales fell. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds wandering the lands.
to survive and preserve our culture. The clans stay apart until the day the Elvenon have a homeland once more. We are the Dalish, keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely path. Thank you for your forbearance, Dalen. You remember both the tale and the oath of the Dales perfectly. I will let you get back to your tasks. I pray you find Tamlin quickly. I've never heard of such a thing. But, in the days of ancient Arlathan, we lived free and spread far across the continent. We were as varied as the Shemlin, though fewer in number. Perhaps some of us lived in caves then, but all knowledge from that era is lost. Now that's something I rarely hear. Of course. Ah, yes. The Lost City. Before the Shemlin enslaved us, even before they came to this part of the world, our people lived in glorious Arlathan. Legends say that our ancestors were immortal, and we possessed magic the Shemlin could only dream of. When the humans enslaved us, they took away our language, our history, and our immortality. We quickened to the pace of life and retained nothing of ourselves. We were slaves for so long that even when we became free, there was little for us to recover. If books still exist, I do not know of them. Perhaps they have no choice. Dalish clans are scattered to the winds and rarely gather which makes us difficult for any organized effort to destroy. And why bother? We have nothing they want. No land, no treasure. And we always move on, allowing no one to grow too angry with us. Some might see this as cowardly, but we are proud. We are the last, and we will survive. They remain in human cities, forgetting all they once had. We call them flat ears for they differ little from their Shemlin masters. A few may return, but we must accept that they know nothing of the lore or why we keep it. We can hope to find a new home one day, where the Dalish and the Flat Ears will build a land greater even than Arlathan. We shall teach the Flat Ears the lore they lost. And perhaps they will teach us to understand the Shemlin at last. That is the only way we shall truly live in peace. Then I'm sure you have much to do, unless you've other questions. The one who brought you back? Very little. He seemed decent enough as humans go. As for Grey Wardens, they're heroes without a doubt. Members of our own clan joined their ranks in ages past. Only that they eat living flesh, and lurk in underground tunnels, once ruled by the Durgenlen, the dwarves. In the last blight long ago, the Grey Wardens all but wiped them out. Should they return, all races will shudder. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen.
Ah, it's good you're well. You weren't here when Paul arrived, were you? I've heard of you. Everyone is talking about you and the other missing hunter. A Grey Warden brought you back here. I hope you find him soon. Paul's a flat ear. He arrived here a few days ago from the human lands. I heard rumors in a nearby human village that a Dalish camp was close, and I hope to find your hunters in the forest. You were fortunate I didn't shoot you, Paul. I thought you were a shim, and a bandit at that. You're not the first city elf to rejoin his people. I'm sure he'll find life among us more satisfying than with the shems, if no less harsh. In the alienage, we hear terrible stories about the Dalish. They aren't true, right? Ha! <laughs> That's funny. It's... it is... Funny, right, you don't actually do that. Search parties have been looking for Tamlin since the Grey Warden brought you back. No luck so far. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Thank you for the bow, Master Island. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father made it and used it in battle against the Clane tribes. I will carry it with honor. Then I am proud to tell it. Our clan was one of the first to flee the Dales. When we came to Ferelden, the fiercest of the Shimlin were the barbarians known as the Clan. We didn't wait for them to attack us. Every Dalish clan in Ferelden united to bring the battle to them. They were barbarians without honor. They would have slain us without a second thought. The ensuing battle went well for us. That day we carved out our reputation of being the deadliest archers. Our arrows won us the right to wander these woods at will. It was this very bow that my father used that day. Thank you for the tale, Master Island, and especially the bow. I will honor its history. Of course. Take whatever you need. Ah, back again? Of course. Take whatever you need.
Ah, back again? Of course. Take whatever you need. Ah, back again? Anathara, it's good to see you recovered. They fare well. The Keeper called for the clan to move on, and they will be ready to take us. One is heavy with calf, but it shouldn't be a problem. May I ask of Tamlin's fate? Some say the clan will leave before we find him. The Hala mourn our fallen. No sound is more heart-wrenching than their mourning cry. At least they won't be crying over you. They are quite fond of you. I admire them for their strength and pride. They are equals, not servants like the Shemlin horses. At any rate, I do not envy the Keeper's decision. I'll pray for Tamlin's safe return. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Shemlin was a Grey Warden. They are supposed to be great warriors. I miss Tamlin. I want him to come home. By the Creators, it is so good to see you whole and well. I was so worried. All that time you were ill, the Keeper didn't know if you were going to live or die. I've been outside the Keeper's tent the whole time. I have never been so relieved as when I heard you would pull through. What happened? Everyone says Tamlin may be dead. That's awful. He's been a good friend to you since you were fledglings. You must be more careful. Your mother and father, may they rest in peace, would be horrified to see you take such risks. What happened to them is a sad tale, and it's in the past. Reopening old wounds benefits no one. True. Perhaps you're old enough to hear this, though it hardly seems like the right time. Very well. If I do not tell you now, you'll only wonder. Your mother was a hunter, one of the finest, and your father was the keeper before Marathari. He was with us for a very long time. Your mother was from another clan, and her elders did not approve of the match. She and your father had to meet in secret. One day, bandits caught them alone in the forest. Your father was killed. But your mother escaped. Your mother held to life long enough to give birth to you. But grief racked her heart. One night she... She simply walked into the moonlight and never returned.
she just couldn't carry on without your father. The clan decided not to discuss this around you, lest it poison your heart with sadness. Our people have learned to live with much sorrow. It seemed only right that we not dwell on it. Your mother did leave you a gift. Something of your father's for you to have once you were older. Perhaps the time has come. Take this key. You'll see some chests behind the storage aravel by the Halapen. One of them was your mother's. Its contents are yours if you wish. Is the Keeper sending you back to that cave to look for Tamlin? I want to go with you. Keeper Marathari probably won't approve, but I can help find Tamlin. Tamlin's my friend too. I want to help find him. If Meryl can risk it, so can I. Then ask her. I'll go with you and we'll ask her together. She can't say no to both of us. Good. Let's go talk to the Keeper. I see you have not left with Meryl yet. Is there something you need? Fenerel? Are you certain? I'm already putting Meryl at risk. I don't want to lose you too. I want to help, Keeper. If we can find Tamlin, it's worth the risk. Very well, then. You have my permission, and thank you for asking for it. The Keeper told me I'm to accompany you back to those caves. As her apprentice, I may see something you missed. But our main objective is to find Tamlin, of course. We must make haste. He may not have much time. Less than I'd like to. I know some of our old magic, as the Keeper does, and I'll know about these relics if I see them. The Keeper isn't sending me to collect anything, however. We're worried about Tamlin. Enough to pique my interest and my concern. You can explain the rest on the way. What about Fenerel? You didn't think I'd notice him? We asked. The Keeper has given her leave. Then let us make haste while daylight lasts.
anything like them. You can smell the evil on them. Where did they come from? Were they here before? Let's move on and hope we don't meet any more of these monsters. Before we go, are you all right? Were you hurt during the fight? You do look quite pale now that Meryl's mentioned it. Nothing. Forget I said anything. Let's go. I wonder whose camp this is. Do you remember it being here? You're probably right. Didn't he say he was headed back to the cave? If so, he's not here now. And we've seen no sign of Tamlin. Maybe we should... Wait. Do you hear that? Exactly. The forest is too... still. Something's in the air. Something unnatural. And now it's affecting the forest? Maybe that mirror unleashed some kind of sickness. That would not be good. That's an understatement. The sooner we find this cave and Tamlin, the sooner we can leave. Take us there quickly. Into these blasted things! So these are the ruins. Interesting. They're definitely of human origin, yet elven artifacts are scattered amongst them. Nothing explains the monsters, though. But we must find Tamlin, or what's left of him. I can't imagine he's still alive with those creatures about.
You're right. We should explore farther before I go on about my fears. I'm sorry. Yes? I dread to think of it. If he is as sick as you were, even if the worst has happened, we cannot leave his body unburied. Let's not... let's not waste any time. If Tamlin's alive, he needs us. Now's better than this. Into these blasted things! Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back? So you were the one fighting Darkspawn. I thought I heard combat. You're the elf I found wandering the forest, aren't you? I'm surprised you have recovered. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. The last time we spoke, you were barely conscious. And Deran Atishan, Duncan of the Grey Wardens. I am Meryl, the Keeper's apprentice. And I am Fenerel. Did you come here alone, human? Battling all those creatures? Yes, though I must admit you took a great deal of pressure off me. Your keeper did not send you after me, did she? I told her I would be in no danger. So, you and your friend Tamlin both entered this cave, and you saw this mirror. I see. That's... unfortunate. The Grey Wardens have seen artifacts like this mirror before. It is Tevinter in origin, used for communication. Over time, some of them simply break. They become filled with the same taint as the Darkspawn. Tamlin's touch must have released it. It's what made you sick. And Tamlin too, I presume. I agree. So long as the mirror exists, it is a threat to anyone nearby. I do not fear this sickness. The Keeper knows how to cure it. She may have weakened it, but she cannot cure it. Your recovery is only temporary. I can sense the sickness in you, and it is spreading. Look inside yourself, and you will see. Confirm it with your Keeper later if you like. For now, we must deal with the mirror. It is a danger. It is done. Now let's leave this cursed place. I must speak with the Keeper immediately regarding your cure. There is nothing we can do.
Let me be very clear. There is nothing you can do for him. He's been tainted for three days now, unaided. Through your Keeper's healing arts and your own willpower, you did not die, but Tamlin has no chance. Trust me when I say that he is gone. Now we should return. With the mirror destroyed, I doubt the Darkspawn will return. Can we return later and search through the ruins? We could learn from many things here besides the mirror. The cave is not safe. Everything here was exposed to the mirror's taint. If your people must come here, they should cleanse it with fire. If you prefer, I can wait outside while you look around. But I assure you, he will not be here. I suggest, however, leaving sooner rather than later. You are sick whether you feel it or not, and it does you no good to linger. Thank you. Shall we head back then? I sense no other darkspawn nearby, so it's safe. Lead on. I'm relieved you have returned, and I did not expect to see you again so soon, Duncan. I was not expecting to return so soon either, Keeper. Dare I ask of Tamlin? What did you find of him? I see. Meryl, what about the mirror? Did you bring anything back? I can answer that, Keeper. I destroyed the mirror. I intended to use it to find a cure for this mysterious illness. I trust you had good reasons for your actions. Oh, there is much to discuss, Keeper. I have learned a great deal since I was last here. Let us speak privately within my Aravel, then, Duncan. Meryl, warn the hunters. If Darkspawn are about, I want the clan prepared. Manu Vinan, Keeper. Right away. Dalen, allow me some time to speak with Duncan. Seek us out at my Aravel later, and we can discuss your cure. Tell Harin Pival what has occurred. He now has the sad task of preparing a service for the dead. Follow me, Duncan. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. So you return with the Grey Warden, but without Tamlin. What happened, Dalen? Is he truly lost to us? Even if he's not, we must leave soon. To think I'd live to see this. It seems the will of the creators that I sing the dirge for those I held in my arms as babes. I think I know why our immortal ancestors would sleep. Swiftly do stars burn a path across the sky, hastening to place one last kiss upon your eye. Tenderly land enfolds you in slumber, softening the rolling thunder. Dagger now sheathed, bow no longer tense. During this, your last hour, only silence. Our ancestors did not age as we do. The Shemlin brought a quickening to our blood that changed us forever. Instead of death, those weary of life would pass into Uthanera, the waking slumber. In doing this, they made way for the young. It was supposed to be a beautiful time, a celebration of the Elder's long life and contribution to his people. Alas, 
We have no such ceremonies these days. Of course. We've no body to return to the soil, but we shall still sing for Tamlin. The creators must come to guide him to the beyond. Tell the Keeper it shall be done before the clan is ready to move on. We shall sing for him anyway, and pray he does not suffer. I ask only one thing, if I may. This Grey Warden. You have met him now, yes? Is he a good man? Interesting. What is it he talks to the Keeper about, I wonder? Perhaps you should go and ask. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. Your keeper and I have spoken, and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. When I leave, I hope you will join me. You would make an excellent Grey Warden. Yes, Dalen. Your life depends on it. The darkspawn taint courses through your veins. That you recovered at all is remarkable. But eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. The Grey Wardens can prevent that. But it means joining us. We do not know. But we could not watch you suffer. The Grey Warden offers you a way to survive. This is not simply charity on my part. I would not offer this if I did not think you had the makings of a Grey Warden. Let me be clear. You will likely never return here. We go to fight the Darkspawn, a battle that will take us far from your clan. But we need you, and others like you. A great army of darkspawn gathers in the south. A new blight threatens the land. We cannot outrun this storm. Long ago, the Dalish agreed to aid the Grey Wardens against a blight should that day arrive. We must honor that agreement. It breaks my heart to send you away. As it would to watch you die slowly from this sickness. This is your duty and your salvation. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Dalish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you'll do your clan proud, Dalen. Take this ring. It is your heritage, and will protect you against the darkness to come. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? We have much ground to cover, but I cannot deny you that. Say your farewells. Then we must be off. Come then, Dalen. Before the creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time.
We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Kokari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together, after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. You are Dalish, are you not? I hear your people possess remarkable skill and honour. To be fair, your people can be a bit standoffish. Not that I blame them, of course. I tell you this, you are very welcome here. The Grey Wardens will benefit greatly with you amongst them. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Wait for reinforcements. We sent a call out west to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, but it will be many days before they can join us. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. <laughs> I agree. We have until nightfall to begin the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The Joining is what will cure you of the suffering your tainted blood surely brings you. If it had been possible, I would have done it before now.
know. There are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to.